how can we see how their sociability come through in their behavior? Well, they live in these colonies, and some of them are spectacular in size and the way they're organized. Uh, and you can see this uh, here, that they divide labor. They are superb at getting a job done fast and uh, respond oh, to each guy. other. Yeah, they can catch prey together. These are army ants here uh, from the tropics. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, they communicate always by smell and taste. They communicate by smelling and tasting Taste, things. Yeah. They, do, they, do they have eyes? Do they have ears? Do they talk? Do they, I don't know, that, I've been they, watching too many animated Pixar films, haven't I, talking ants? Well, <laughs> uh, actually, you, you, you should bear in mind that we humans are highly unusual in that we are audiovisual. You know, we talk, mm. that sound. And we see and communicate the way I'm doing now mm -hmm. with my hands and signs and visual of signaling, signaling of all kinds, but ants don't do that. Some of them have eyes big enough to see, but they don't use them very much at all to, to signal back and forth. What they do is they let out smells and they offer substances on, the, on their bodies. They have many kinds of glands from where their mouth opens, glands, that all the way to the end of their bodies and these are, uh, they open to the outside. So when an ant wants to say something, you know, like, watch out, danger, or come here, I have something important, or follow me, out the end of the trail I just laid, uh, there's food out there, or there's an enemy out there. They let out a particular substance that has that signal in it. It's, hang on, are there different substances for the different pe type of communication that they want to say? Yeah, they how have. Many, how many words do they have? Well, basically 10 to 20. They can say things like, look out, danger. They can say things like, I'm a soldier. <laughs> or they can say things like, I'm a member of a such and such colony. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Are and you a doing, fellow member? They're, they're Ten or twenty this, things like they're that. They're doing this by excreting chemicals onto the ground. So, yeah. in other words, and so then on the how ground, on that, their bodies, and into the air. And how right. long does that communication then last? I mean, if another ant comes along uh, uh, ten minutes later, it's presumably still there. Oh, what well, about, uh, a day later, a week. Depends later? on the signal. Now, for example, we can identify Josh Steps uh, by clothes, by face. There he is. That's a signal that goes out all the time. But there are other signals that you don't want to have going all the time. For I'm example, frequently excreting scents that oh, shouldn't yeah. be going out all right. the time. For example, uh, for example, right. If you uh, started saying, uh, alarm, alarm, I think there's a fire, I'm going to say, stop saying that. Mm -hmm. In other words, so an ant that's uh, found something that bothers them, now look here, this is a picture that shows you how this works. Oh, we were. Yeah, okay, let's we'll come, a, let's well, take, yeah, come on, continue Let's take that. a look at that video because it's a, So it's what I've done one. in this These experiment are, yeah. uh, is, uh, if we can come back to that, yeah. That's a fire ant. Uh -huh. Now I'm holding it and now I'm squeezing its end to the tip of its abdomen there and I'm getting on a little of the pheromone that these ants use to lay their trails and I'm laying a trail and here they come, see? So they... You can speak to the ants. That's the great thing about it. So you are, you are taking basically the voice box of another ant, which is, the, which is in chemical form. You're yeah. laying it down on a piece of paper. And the other ants, what are they thinking? When they come, up, come upon that trail, do they go, oh, look, here's someone trying to tell me something. What well, is it that he's yeah, trying to tell Well, yeah, what I did, I had some food waiting for them down there. Ah. So I said... Did you uh, give them any food or was it a dead end? Uh, well, you know, that was enough. Uh, I, uh, to, get, uh, to reward them. Uh -huh. So what, eventually what I did, uh, I put that well away from the colony, so it had been a long time before they found it. Then I took just that one substance, you know, that kind of chemical. You couldn't smell it yourself. It's, it's there in such tiny amounts that the ants can smell it with these two antennae. You know, that, mm -hmm. that's, their antennae are just loaded with sensors for detecting all these chemical words. And the ants, when I laid that trail, uh, then uh, got the message, there's food, mm -hmm. follow that trail.